I watch a lot of television. I, I'm fascinated by celebrities. I love, I love gays. Back me up. Do you love Paris Hilton? Oh, I love her. I know she's tragic. I love her. I really do. I love that she went to jail and found God. Yeah, because that means God needs to find a new hiding spot. Right? <laughs> I love Madonna. I love that Madonna went to, I love her. I love that she went to Africa and just stole a black kid. Just stole a <laughs> You match my bag, let's go. I'm just trying. <laughs> my favorite celebrity of last year was, uh, was Sanjaya from American Idol. <laughs> The little gay Indian engine that could. Didn't you just love him? I loved him. I loved him because he stunned America for six months. How does he keep making it through? How does he keep making it through? I know how he kept making it through. He had the gay vote, but he also had the Indian vote, and that is a lethal mix, okay? Because the gays, we can vote fast. But look, um, if you've got tech support, <laughs> This just came out a little bit. Did you see that? It's like, I don't know, homo. Go back to the dick and pussy jokes. Oh, I'm fascinated by reality television. I love that shit. I have a couple ideas for my own reality TV shows. Here's my first one. Um, Survivor faggot. This is what we do. Wouldn't be great? We take a bunch of gay men, right, and we leave them stranded with no supplies at, like, a Mervyn's. <laughs> now, it would be hosted by Ryan Seacrest. Every time he puts the torch out, instead of saying, like, the tribe has spoken, he just goes, flame out, and snaps. <laughs> I think we should take a bunch of fat kids and play meal or no meal. <laughs> I know, that's kind of weird, but I love it. <laughs> Being gay and fat was really hard. Dating was tough. Dating was very difficult for me because I, you know, I, I like to date really skinny guys and I was really big and I like to be on top. That didn't work out. Um, <laughs> we tried 60-90 once. It looked like a six in a collapsed salon. It was, <laughs> Seriously, homo, because that's enough. We're done. <laughs> and I used to go to the big gay bars. In the city, we have a gay bar for everything. Big, little, Latino, Asian, whatever. We had a gay bar for it all. And I used to go to the big gay bar because I felt pretty, you know? I felt pretty there. It was awesome. But now when I go, I'm like, I'm like Marsha Brady over there. You know, they're just like, oh, who invited her? You know, the, she's too good for us. And I'm realizing I'm too skinny for the fat bar. So I looked at them, I was like, you know what? I don't need you. I don't need you. I'll go to the skinny bar. I'm the fattest bitch there. <laughs> Where is the middle of the road gay bar? That's what I want to know. I would open up my own gay bar for middle of the road gay guys like me and just call it, eh, I'd fuck you. <laughs> racism every day, and it's a, it's a very interesting concept for me, because I, I, I did it backwards. I did coming out backwards, because uh, I came out my first day of sophomore year, and uh, it was August 31st of 2001. Yeah, and I was gay for about a week. And then, on September 11th, I was Middle Eastern, and I was no longer gay, and I was still fat. The entire time, I was still fat. Um, <laughs> but I learned that I can run really fast, all right? It was tough. There were certain things that I had to deal with. And racism is a big one. Recently, this is my favorite racist story, I, uh, I had to go buy some makeup, because I'm gay, and um, <laughs> I had to go buy some foundation, right? And it was Monday night at eight o'clock, I just got off work, I just want to get my foundation and get the fuck out of there. It was one of those nights, right? <laughs> but here's the thing, the girls selling the makeup, God bless them, love them to death, they're my favorite, however, was one of these white girls, like 16, right off of MTV, just like, oh my God, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Like the more 
excited she was getting, the less I could understand what she was trying to say. So I looked at her and I said, um, uh, white girl. Um, <laughs> I need some foundation and um, I really stern, so I need it kind of dark. Okay, so she looks at me and she goes, oh my god. I have got the perfect life for you and I'm loving it. It's awesome, it's really good, it's really nice, it's awesome, it's awesome. It goes all over your head, it's really nice, it's awesome, 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 awesome. Bark, bark, did you just bark? <laughs> Yeah, I ended up taking towel head. <laughs> 